Hey guys, my name is Logan and or Frost and welcome back to Let It Die. Today we'll be covering the Charger type events. Hopefully I'm putting something on screen right now that showcases the glamified version of it. The people who made the game, they made the like nice little thumbnail. But you're probably thinking, well why should I farm? Is it any good? I have no idea. And we're about to find out. I, I just got all the blueprints. I have not made the blueprints though. Uh, because I could, you can kind of see where it's going and the only thing that looks semi-cool is the weapon. Um, fun fact, the weapon was the last thing I got. Sick. <laughs> Super, it was the only thing I really wanted to showcase. The armor looks stupid, doesn't look cool, I don't think. You're in, like, hazmat armor. It's also under DOD. I don't know why DOD would go with hazmat. I, I'm not sure where else it would fit, but, but still. Anyways, so if you guys don't know how I do these videos, usually I show you guys the weapons and the materials and etc. Things you're going to need to upgrade them, um, just in case you're like, that's so not fair, fuck that. <laughs> Which I think is pretty fair. And yeah, the stuff that they're like, hey, grind for this to get it is a bit. I'm going to enjoy my den active now. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> it's just been sitting here the entire day. It's kind of warm. It's not great. Also, I think I have a lot of sheen on my head right now. Irrelevant, let's move on. Um, so again, how I usually do this is I show you guys all of the weapons, the armor, etc. And then I show you guys the weapon in action. And then usually, depending on the weapon, I'll make a follow-up video showcasing what it is at its next evolution. Um, just so you guys see the power change, because some weapons they get... They're good at a certain points in the game, and then the more you progress, the more they kind of fall off a little bit. Um, and a great example of this not happening is the iron. The iron's pretty solid across the board. But then there's this one, which I don't think is that strong in the slightest, and I... Yeah, I just... Disappoint. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. So again, is this gear even worth farming for? How, what does it look like? How does it work? Etc. Well, let's go through the armor first. Again, this is why I only really wanted the weapon, and I think you guys should only really want the weapon as well. The hat, actually, now that I see it, is not the worst. It gives you uh, health, which is awesome, but also gives you resistance. The dude is flexing. That's your... What is it? Damn it. Vitality. And vitality is like your general resistance to damage, I think. Which is awesome. It does lower your attack, though. Which, that's not cool, because, <laughs> you know, you always need to hit things to end the fight, opposed to just outlasting it. Anyways, um, so yeah, not my cup of tea, as well as it's only two star, so you're gonna have to really level this thing up a ton in order to get anywhere with it, so there's that. But the, the defensive stuff in the armor is what kills it for me. We have negative to everything, so you are weak to everything, <laughs> um, with, when you wear this armor. Um, as well as you have some buffs towards status effects, but... I, you only really run into status effects when you're past 20, floor 20, and and even then, it's pretty reasonable just to get around it, like, yeah, so I don't know, status effects are always the weirdest type of armor, I, I, I haven't seen one person rock around with any status effect gear, like this one, you get a ton of resistance to fire, um, and poison, but then everything else shits on you, like, it's just not worth it, why, like, why, also, um, the piece of broken copper, or whatever that is, that you actually attain, if I'm not mistaken, past the 20th floor. That's where the enemies start becoming somewhat hard. So, bleh. <laughs> it's like asking for... They do this with the chargers where they ask for ingredients or resources um, that are below a certain floor range and then above a certain floor range. So it's really like, even though this armor is two-star, it's still asking you to jump around a little bit, which is weird. Um, anyways, um, we also got the pants, which again, have zero interest in. If I could find it, that'd be great. There they are. Um, chem agent pants. Again, same thing as the chest piece. Negatives across the board. Elemental positives. Again, don't think it's that bad. Uh, with, with poison, you can puke, get it out of your system. Awesome. With, with electricity, I'm not sure how that works, actually. I think it maybe stuns you a tiny bit. Um, but with fire, you just roll a bunch and you're out. So, yeah. But now, let's talk about the thing you guys actually want to know about, which is the weapon. The thing that looks actually pretty cool. Um, now, it is a three-star, um, and from what I see, it very much acts as a DoD equivalent of this. Um, so much so that you guys can see, it asks for 11 Walnut, uh, which is a four-grade uh, weapon. And this is three-grade, so I don't entirely understand. <laughs> but um, this one has, I guess, a resource pool, like an ammunition amount, whereas this one doesn't. Although, typically, I feel like that's a negative if they don't have ammunition. Like, this thing lasts forever. Um, and it has ammunition or f gas, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this one doesn't. And I'm not sure how the durability is going to fare. It's weird. But what I was getting at is it costs a ton of wire mount. You have to get 
40 wire mount to upgrade this thing to, to its next evolution. I am not doing that. Again, to me, the perfect balance <laughs> was this. Um, as much as it does jump around a little bit, and this is like the the next evolution of it. So it costs a lot more, which makes sense. It's four grade. Um, but when I first started upgrading the damn thing, it didn't ask for an insane amount of stuff. It asked for some steel. It asked for, I think, two types of metal. I think that was it. Um, which is super reasonable. And I was like, oh yes, I can actually upgrade this weapon and etc. But for, for just the base weapon to cost that much, it's like, I already spent 40 hours grinding to get it. Which I didn't even, I'm not even talking about, by the way. We'll talk about that in a sec. <laughs> but, um, you're spending so much time to get the weapon, then you get it, the blueprint at least. And then you're like, oh shit. <laughs> if I want to get anywhere with this weapon and actually make it usable for the floors that I'm at. Jesus, just a bunch of time, which makes sense. I know it has to have a time sink somewhere because it's free to play. And the more time you play in the game, the more time you have chances to die, and the more death medals you may buy. Things like that. It makes kind of sense. Anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how this works. Maybe it's godly. Um, but from my understanding, I don't think it's gonna do any better than the iron. Um, and here's how it works. Um, so it's actually pretty different. I have no mastery on it. So if this weapon is pretty good, um, then I'll hopefully make a follow-up video and we'll, I'll have leveled up the mastery of it. But how it works is it's pretty weird. Uh, same as the lightning wand. You hold down the button and you walk forward and it does the job. So you click and you just walk forward. And that's it. But, give it a minute. It will power down. So when I'm trying to use it, you guys can see it's actually like sparking. It has like a time period. I think the dude said the more you get down the mastery of it, the longer the time period is. <laughs> so you can use it for longer without it having to have that like cooldown period. Um, and apparently there's like this this jump to it. <laughs> that that's where the gun, the, the weapon might actually become really good if it, there is some sort of like you throw your arm forward and since it's huge and like lead and steel you'll actually jump forward a ton and if that's the case and that actually might be worth it <laughs> like if you can have a weapon that just dives at people kind of like the tire if you've ever charged at the tire it can like fly at people but right now not so great uh, the fire baton is still the king of the chargers I think just because again when you get it at a base level it's still really good and you move a ton when using it so yeah, I gotta level this thing up more. I'm just trying to get my armor down pat, and then we'll move on to guns and weapons <laughs> and stuff like that. Anyways, and I farmed the kind of cringy nerd guy who's in the arcade. He gave me some tips if I can find it. Mojang, something like that. Yeah, watch out for overheating. This is a description of the drill gun and his tips for you to use it. You got the drill gun, huh? You basically attack by walking around with it on. But be careful of it overheating. If you level up the mastery, you can use a precision attack which is what I was talking about. I'm not sure what that looks like. That one's crazy. You can follow up with a regular attack afterwards. I'm wondering if a precision attack is again, like just you taking the drill itself and just throwing it into someone's head opposed to just like letting it <laughs> go through someone. Or if it's similar to the baton and you just amp it up and it starts spinning way faster and you can do more with it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe not. Maybe, I honestly probably not. <laughs> like to me, I get off put by by like the overwhelming time sink um then again it didn't take the most time to get the resources that i needed um like wire mount is surprisingly not the worst <laughs> but i also don't want to waste all my dod on this because like other weapons need dod so that's where i'm at <laughs> that's where i'm at anyway so yes that is the armor those are its stats i would highly just suggest um farming the gun or the weapon um which does require you to like come back down at certain time periods just to see if you did get the weapon which of course again to quickly rant on something and it's just the it's not really a rant so much as it is just shitty luck um when i did the the berserker armor set or whatever it's called like the centurion or what the hell the awesome armor um, a set that I got the last time. I said it was awesome. I said it took like five hours generally to get the stuff I wanted. Ooh. <laughs> this time around, it came back at me and took like a solid, I, I think it took two days. So this is why the video is getting a little bit late to you guys. Um, also, they've added new floors. So that's a whole thing. You just go all the way up here. It's like it's like some new floors. If you wanted to put yourself through hell, you, you do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, I haven't heard back from anyone if the cost is still insane. So if you do die that high up, are you still like out a thousand, half a million dollars or, or half a million kill coins? Is that the case? Still haven't got word back on that. Maybe I have and I've just been an asshole and I haven't been, the right comments haven't been popping up on my phone. 
Anyways, so, if you are new to Let It Die, I fall over sometimes because I'm standing, but um, if you're new to Let It Die, there's this events, they're called Chargers, I'm pretty sure you guys know them at this point, but how you farm them, you want to go to places where only um, hunters and haters can spawn. Sadly, you cannot get one without the other. Anyways, now for this event, specifically this charger, he only spawns 12 to 20. That's his bracket, so you gotta stay somewhere in here. So usually how you find these certain locations is it's a dead end place, or at least this is the way I do it. Um, so what I did is I went to uh, Dandy, whatever this one is, then went to Tata, and then went to this place, which is clearly a dead end. Um, and I prefer this because it's really fast just to quickly go and check on if anyone's there, as well as if you do need to make a hasty exit, you're not in like extremely close corridors, so you're not gonna get like trapped. And if you are, if you don't want to face that certain person, you don't have to. So yeah, I'd always advise going to that because again, all you need to do is reset the level. Um, now, do I want to go up there right now <laughs> and do it with you guys? Um, yeah, I guess we could just go there. I, I could show you guys the level layout, that kind of thing. Um, now, again, uh, maybe you start farming on not the same day I am right now, which today is Sunday for me. So the Tower of Barbs changes, so I'm not sure what day you guys are going to have this. Um, so again, just the base information is find a dead-end location. Hopefully it's not like too like deep in. like Something like, uh, where is it? Like this? It's like four evolutions deep <laughs> you don't want to do that you want to go like maybe two which is this anyways also if you have the treasure hunter gear that's awesome so it can help you find your way around faster so we're, wanna, we're gonna want to go left and choose one of those um also we're gonna want to use this weapon because i have no idea if it is godly or not now this character does have an, an enhancement to sharp weapons which is does count as so i'm not sure how it's gonna fare <sighs> Boom! That is what we want! We want to go to Tata again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys know this, but again, my, my theory is, when I title the video this, like, you know, how to farm the new charger, etc. Someone's gonna be like, oh, what the hell is that about? And then I, you know, I want to preface it for those people that have never done it. Uh, because to me, it's one of the, my favorite parts of the game, just because it's kind of simplistic. It's not like overly, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm freaking out. <laughs> so, you're kind of okay. Um, to do it, it's not like, again, it's not going past the 50th or 40th floors, which I think are a bit intense. From what I've heard, people are like, they're hard. <laughs> they're very difficult. If you don't have white steel armor, it's, it's shitty. <laughs> it's really shitty. And I'm like, okay, not for me. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> See, now this is the worst weapon to test out this on. Come on, come on. There we go. It's because the machete travels so fast and he'll be able to get on top of me before I'm able to hit hit him with the drill. Um, also, how to defeat the drill guy is extremely easy. Um, you just need a weapon that gets in and gets out or just wait for him to put down his weapon and that's it. <laughs> it's really like, that's that's where to me I'm like, I'm not sure if this weapon is the same. How was that? <laughs> I heard someone like drop down. Like I was saying, uh... Typically, if a weapon is hard to, like, fight against, it's also pretty good against everybody. Like, if you're having a hard time against it, the likelihood of just random mindless zombies or whatever also are probably gonna have a hard time with it. But, this is the location you wanna get to pretty fast, right? So, as you guys can see here, with the treasure hunter, you guys can see there's some gear there, but also an enemy that spawns. Um, now, the reason why I like this kind of thing is because you can scope it out before you take on anything. So, if I just peek around the corner right here, I will see whatever I'm gonna be facing, which in my case... It's the charger. This does not happen all the time. You have, you're fighting with four different things to spawn there. You're fighting with a hunter to spawn there, which again, is one of the reasons why it's really nice to reset the level if you're not comfortable dealing with like a ranged weapon or whatever, or a person with godly gear that can one shot you because that can happen in this game. <laughs> but you're also fighting over this charger, the other chargers, the other haters that can spawn with at the world space, which is actually pretty convenient because you can kill those for money and they're not the worst to deal with, or at least some of them are easy to deal with. But anyways, let's see who uses it better. Come on, dude. He'll just drop it, and then you hit him with it. I get it. I get it. I'm, I apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah. Um, yeah, so you also get some money from this. I ended up just doing this, I think, for four hours today. Um, I know <laughs> it sounds like a bit, but if you do farm in other games, it's not the worst. And who knows? Maybe you get lucky, and you're not there for, like, upwards to, like, eight... Nine hours? Nine hours of farming? What I was trying to get at is when you kill them, you get a decent amount of spilithium as well as kill coins, so you can kind of farm money <laughs> while also farming this. Um, it's not the best way to farm money, but it is... Actually, it is kind of a good way to farm money, because as long as you make sure you're killing not just the charger, but also the haters that spawn, 
um, you can make a pretty pretty penny as well as again um, the area where he's at is pretty open so you're not like confined and if an enemy has like a, an AoE type weapon you're not gonna get completely shit on um, as well as there's a lot of corners so if you guys don't know the, the value of corners and let it die um, if there's any ranged person you just go behind a corner wait for him to come around the corner and hit him um, and you just keep playing that game keep dashing behind the corner and etc make him play your game not his um, <laughs> yeah um, so I don't think we'll get too lucky and get him get it twice. Yes. So see this guy I am in no way comfortable fighting him. He's got two ranged weapons that are really high level not happening He also is really loud It's also real loud and amped. I don't want to deal with that at all um, I don't feel comfortable dealing with ranged weapons. <laughs> not at all. I feel like they do way too much damage Like you not only are you out of harm's way in two feet or like 20 feet away But also you get a fuck ton of damage it's like, what? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Makes no sense. It's a fucking nail, not a machete going through someone's head. <laughs> what are you on? Oh, by the way, um, I wanted to make kind of like a separate video about this, but uh, I could talk about it now. I probably will just make out, oh, yeah, fuck it, it's here. Um, the designers actually did a lot of cool things. Um, like I mentioned in the last update video, oh no. Like I mentioned in the last update video where they were implementing things like a second life, um, a free one, which is nice. Um, sadly, I had to use up mine today because I had no more second life shrooms, so I went up to a floor and of course a hunter Spawned and wrecked me and I was like great and then their game was like hey We implemented this and I was like, oh right and I could just continue off there But also what I'm getting at is if we go to PSN store This is this is the first time I'm seeing this I might have been lied to but I'm pretty sure they they talked about this in the patch update thing so if we go over here Go over to here. They did what I really wanted, and and it's it's awesome to see because again, like this to me is what people would want to buy. Uh, but is it here? Wait, it's not here. Where are you? <laughs> what the hell? Is it just not? What happened? Where is it? <laughs> okay, maybe it's just not been implemented yet. But they were essentially there was an update saying that you could buy. A metal pack so you could buy a red metal pack a black metal pack um, and a green metal pack and a, a blue metal plaque um, blue metal pack Gah. <laughs> anyways um, but I guess it's not implemented yet but they did say that's something that they were doing which is like yes <laughs> that's exactly what I think people want from this because again it would allow people to choose whether they want to grind for 10 hours <laughs> for something opposed to just being like ah fuck it here's money which I think is a pretty good business model. Anyways, okay, another ranged weapon. Again, you guys might be calling me a little bitch. <laughs> I'm not fighting that. That is way too much. If it if he had a melee weapon, oh yeah, I can deal with a melee weapon. But with the AIs, like precision aim, if you're not sprinting hardcore in one direction, it's not okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna live. Also, my pants are one shot away from breaking. I want you guys to see this dude's business. I will say we'll do it until we get the person to spawn again. Except I I did that for like the last three videos we farmed, and it was a mistake. <laughs> it was the biggest mistake because God did it not happen for the longest time. RNG was like, "Excuse me, you're trying to you're trying to fucking make a video and help? Fuck you, fuck you, you piece of shit." I'm like, "All right, RNG, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do." <laughs> shit. Um. Oh, someone saying fuck me. There he is. See, he spawned again. Let's see who wins. Mine did. Ha ha. It's actually doing a fair bit of damage. Hmm. And it's actually not like dying too quickly. Let's go kill some stuff. Let's just run around. We'll make our way back up to the elevator so we can go down to the waiting room. But let's see if it actually can, you know, kill things. But first, I miss chests. <laughs> and I want to open those chests. Damn it. I know some of you guys were asking, um, am I going to do content of the upper floors? I kind of touched upon it in the, uh... The one video I made when I was talking about the new update, the new add-ons to the game, not, probably not, it's more like, it's just the content that's not exactly made for me, you know what I mean? Like I talked about it in the, in the one video where it's like, I think it's content made for the hardest of core, which, and what do you guys are telling me the stats on the amount of people that have beaten the game, and it was something like, I think it was like 3 million people play Let It Die and only 10k beat the final boss, like it was one of those things. Now, give and take, you don't need to beat the final boss in order to get access to those new floors. But I, again, I'm, I, to me, the thing that sells it for me is if I have to pay half a million dollars just to get my character back. Fuck no, <laughs> if that is the case. Not happening. Anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a right. Just want to go up. We're also going to kill everybody. Hopefully, there's no badass here. Oh, God. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> Bristly walking backwards, my only weakness. <laughs> oh, that's that's worrisome, dude. Boom. I mean, this weapon is titled a three-star, so I guess it makes sense that it's somewhat... Oh, we should use its rage move. Can we see what it is first so I don't mess it up somehow? Where the fuck is the weapon itself? There it is. I'm surprised the durability is actually staying up there pretty pretty heavily. Anyways, um, switch description, this. Rage move. Miracle drill. Oh, it's basically the hockey puck. Okay, it says attack by striking the floor um, to send the drill bit flying, rebounding off walls. Mm, um, does it say how much it destroys the weapon though? Because I would love to see that. They don't. They never tell you that, but they're like some weapons when you use the rage move, the weapon's gone. <laughs> like it's the worst thing you could do. Oh look at you guys are here now. Aha! Um, I, my my music is way too loud. I keep cringing because it's so fucking loud. Wire mount. I guess I could keep my eye out for it. Like honestly, the the as much as it's crazy to say this, the wire mount was not the worst thing to do. Honestly, all I did was I just went to um, the 19th floor and went all the way down to the 16th floor and just kept going this route, going here, going here, going here, and then going here. Um, and along the along this route, it was pretty easy to find uh, wire mount, so wasn't the worst. Especially if you have a collector, you can just pretty much grab everything you want. So again, not the worst, but 10. <laughs> it's like, I, I, to me, I'd rather the time be on getting the weapon, but when you finally get it, you get it. Like, you can actually put it together without it being a chore. And, like, I would understand if it was, like, the fourth generation of it that it requires ten, because maybe it becomes something godly um, if you get it to the five star. But the base model costs that much? <laughs> it's a bit much to me. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is also a new thing that they've added. That's the sounds I was hearing. Um, so they said some of these are not... Like, you don't have to use kill coins to, to, like, send stuff back to the to the waiting room. By the way, what this does is it sends whatever items. You can be five items and send it down to the waiting room in your storage, I believe. Um, but you also have to pay a death medal to do so. Um, but apparently there's some that don't ask you to do that. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I've never encountered one that is just like, hey, just send stuff down the chute. It's never been that. <laughs> um... I imagine those exist in like the the far reaches away from the elevators that the game's like, all right, let's not be an asshole. <laughs> let's just throw them about. How many rage points does it take to use this thing? I didn't know why. I don't think you guys would know, but like I, because you're just checking out this video. I don't know. Here we go. We'll get a bunch of people and we'll shoot our gun or our drill, whatever. <laughs> you get it. Hey, oh, what's, what's happening? Oh, it's him again. Oh, awesome. It's not like an overpowered hunter. Awesome. Good times. Hey, everyone that wants me to die. Oh, no, don't. Don't be doing that. Don't be killing each other. I need to kill all you. I right, follow me down here. I want more than three. I'm greedy. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. This is the perfect thing. All right, you go ahead. It's It bounces off walls. It bounces off walls, guys. <laughs> you see it bouncing? Did it just leave? I don't know where it went. Nope, there it is. No, that's just that. Okay, never mind, we're fine. Uh, fuck you. Boop. Um, yeah, that was actually, yeah, and the rage, it, usually the rage move destroys the weapon, but then again, I think this is just a very durable weapon in, in nature. Boom. 7,000 with one tap. I feel like that's, that's not true. <laughs> I feel like that wasn't, maybe it's just weakness or something. Maybe it has a weakness to that weapon. I don't know. Boom. I want to see what its ultra hit, though, is. Like that precision shot he was talking about. Sounds intriguing. Damn it. If I block, what is what is that? What happens? Hit me. What happens if I block, dude? No, no, like... Okay, well. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> I wonder if this weapon, like, chews through uh, armor then. Because I know that's what happens with the saw weapon. It's like a saw fist. It's like brass knuckles with a chainsaw on <laughs> it. I'm um, a buzzsaw, better said. Um, but yeah, the, the rage move is fairly good. It's kind of like the staff, it reminds me a lot of. Or also the hockey puck. Except the hockey puck, weirdly enough, it like just makes people like eat shit. <laughs> they just fall on their face because their, their legs get taken out from them. That thing takes away your legs. <laughs> kind of good, again, to me. It's it's hard to justify the, the amount of resources and the farming that's going to go into it. Um, like you're going to need 40 wire mount just to upgrade it to the next evolution. I just, like, maybe if I see it in, like, maximum use, then maybe I'll be like, fuck yeah, I want that. 
Um, which maybe is what you guys are here for. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not dedicating that much time without knowing something is going to be marginally good. Unless I really like the look of it. Then again, I'm a massive fan of uh, Bioshock. And that is exactly what this reminds me of. Um, yeah. That's a weird mechanic, though, of it overheating, kind of. And weirdly enough, it does have, like, a, a, a stamina thing. Very little stamina usage, but still. I love when you join the game and it's just a lot of screamo. <laughs> it's like right in your ear. It's like, alright, I didn't I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Please. Actually, I think I did. You can switch the radio station. Anyways, um, how do you do that, by the way? Um, there it is. Uh, the radio station. Do you want to turn it off when you're running through the tower? Barbs, no. Keep that on. And um, when you guys were asking me how to do that, it's just in your options. Awesome. Um, but if that's going to be the case, let's turn down the music just a tad. <laughs> so, so I don't get copyright strikes. I'm just going to take to charge this thing. At least two, maybe? If it's one, then that's actually awesome. No, wow, okay, yeah, it takes one to actually launch this thing. That's not the worst. So you can fire five pikes that I think do a lot of damage. I don't think one enemy lived through that. Then again, <laughs> we were pretty low floors, and we're, we have enhancement to sharp weapons. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Logan and or Frost. This has been the Yotsuyama Chargers, a series of videos I've done for a while, showing you guys how to... Uh, farm the charges as well as what they give you. So is it worth it? I don't know um, it, Sometimes it comes down to personal preference like again To me, I'm a sucker for this one armor that I I farm sh purely because it looks so amazing Like even as an armor, it's not that great <laughs> um, This thing right here. It's the warrior armor series, but then it turns into the berserker armor Which is beyond badass. <laughs> I think it's the coolest armor in the game at least aesthetically it looks badass, and I think it looks even better with another piece of armor, which fuck it, I'm gonna sign off, so I might as well just throw a bunch of useless crap on this character. Probably stupid to do that, but yeah. This combo is the best. It is the Berserker armor slash just the warrior armor um, with the dark rogue leggings, which are only at three star, but that's apparently a lot. <laughs> um, and it looks so sick. You look like a ninja or some some crazy. But doesn't it look like it works? Like with the like the buckle and the like the buckles going down your stomach. I feel like it just makes sense, especially if you happen to have like a baton of fire. Um, fuck yeah, <laughs> basically fuck yeah. I feel like it just works with the armor really well, um, and sadly, it's really dumb armor <laughs> because it gives you an insane amount of resistance to slash, but it shits on blunt and uh, firearms. So if you get hit by any of those archetypes, you're dead. <laughs> so. Ooh, <laughs> I'm not sure, man. Anyways, guys, regardless, just want to quickly show you guys that. I'm not sure if this is going to be worth it or not. Again, I haven't seen what it can really do and level up the mastery of it. That's the only way we can really see. But if there is a part two to this or something like that, um, then absolutely you guys will see that in the future. But if there's nothing like that, then it probably was just kind of a, a neat weapon, but ultimately not, like, worth grinding your ass for. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, subscribe button above me. Two videos to my right. Thank you guys for even the slightest bit of your time. And bye, guys.